Okay, hello everybody. Just a quick video to explain the Blitz Pit, which is occurring the weekend, the 19th and 20th of October, 2019, um, otherwise known as today and <laughs> tomorrow. Um, just to explain it for people on YouTube and uh, I guess some people on stream as well. Um, it's it's Kadenik's organizing it. He's uh, he's put up some money and some I think some other people have donated as well. So there's a cash prizes. Um, it's a minute turns and it's a double elimination tournament. So the draw has been done on challenge and as you can see it's scheduled for three days saturday 1800 utc there'll be uh some people have to play three games i think i believe they, they'll lose the first round then they've got to play these two so some people will play three if you lose the first you've got to play three uh, and win the second so two or three games for everybody and then saturday is one or two games at one utc and then sunday is probably two or three again at 1800 UTC on Sunday. So lots of games of Blood Bowl. So how double elimination works is, um, as you can see, the first match there is Dionysian versus Colian. Um, the winner will progress to round two. The loser will then go at the bottom of the screen. You can see loses round one. Um, and then, so they will stay in, but then if they lose, they're out again. So, and then the same round two, the loser will then slot in to play the winner of those two so it's 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 good because it gives you a second chance against luck um however the previous blitz pit was pretty much the luckiest player one from the games that i saw so this is the draw so let's have a look at the teams there uh, we've got dio versus colian there let's have a look dionysian's necro versus colian's dwarves uh dionysian won the previous one so and he's, he's picked a very good team as well, actually, here, I, I believe he's got... There were different tiers and stuff, um, and there was stacking and two doubles. Now, I didn't know there was uh, two doubles. I would have probably gone for something very similar to this. What I would have done is, <laughs> um, I would have dropped the block off the ghoul and put guard on the flesh golem. And that, to me, would have the best of all worlds there. Four guards, and two block mighty blows. He hasn't, he's, he's got, he's gone for a fully protected ghoul, which is absolutely fair, isn't it, you know? He's got 12 players, he's got three rerolls. It's very strong having two block mighty blow werewolves. You know, that's that's just the thing that leaps out at you when you can stack two skills. You can't stack three skills, but you can stack two. And they got extra TV as well over the tier one races, Necro. So this was, Necro were a really good job. When you think you can make this team very powerful, two really good werewolves. And all you can really hope to do is take them out or strength bully them. And uh, Colian. Uh, Dionysians, I, I believe Dionysians won CCL and he won the last Brit pit. Colian. Is, uh, plays a lot of CCL, very good. I mean, they're all every, everyone's good coaches. They've been invited by Gnanik because they're good. Um, <laughs> Colian has gone for a death roller, which uh, I'm not sure about. He's got no blitzers, which I'm not sure about. But then you kind of can't if you're fitting a death roller in. I'm, I mean, it could be good in some games, but I think it's, you know, I don't think it's very good. <laughs> got a fully blodged up runner, fully protected blodge runner uh, with sure hands. But you know this this the fact that everyone's going to have mighty blow tackle in this league, in this tournament meant that I don't think Wood Elves were really a threat. So I don't think you have to protect your carriers so much. Uh, Dark Elves could be, still be a bit of a threat, but I don't think Dark Elves are that good. He's got a six guard. He's got a mighty blow slayer, two re rolls. I I mean, it's all right um, as far as a death roll team goes. <laughs> so I would uh, I would bet on Dio to win that one. And then we've got Random Guy Lizard Men versus Pupox Dwarves. Um, random random boy um, he went undefeated last season in Rebel in first division and he, sometimes he's a very good coach sometimes he's a bit uh, dodgy <laughs> but he's got a guard crocs everyone's blocked uh, except this tackle break tackle I think that's okay it's like a mobile tackler I think that's actually alright he's just, he's just light on everything isn't he this is the problem with lizards in this format they're just light on skills because they've got to spend so much on the team. Three re-rolls and an apple, 11 players. They're light, skill light. I don't really like them as a choice. But on the other hand, there's no there's no Wood Elves. There's unlikely to be Wood Elves to punch them. So that's fair enough. And uh, I've already literally forgotten who he was playing. <laughs> Pupok's Dwarves. Oh, Pupok, everyone knows Pupok. Um, I, I actually dice Pupok, Pupok every time I play him, but he is a good coach. And uh, he's gone for two Pom Troll Slayers. A one blitzer, a skillless runner, and then a bunch of guard. Three rerolls, I pour 12 players. So, you know, that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, I was tempted to go with a pom, troll slayer, and then, but, you know, he's missing some guarders. But, 
and he's missing a blitzers as well. I mean, and he hasn't got the skill. He's got the guard on the long beers rather than the blitzer. Like, I like the guard on the blitzers because they're faster and more agile, so you can move them around and get their assists in. You know, I just think it's better to have guard on, on the blitzers than the long beards. Um, two pommers, obviously, there's going to be a lot of luck involved in those, and it is a bad racial matchup for dwarves, lizard men. So a random boy could could win that definitely. Um, I do believe that whoever wins will lose to Dio, though. So Dio's my pick to get through from there. And next up is myself with Dwarves versus Ungern with Dark Elves. So, um, my team is Hallow. <laughs> and to be honest, I, I didn't I didn't think a lot for making this tournament. I didn't analyse the, the format. I, I was busy and stuff, and, and I had all sorts of problems. And I really didn't give this the attention it deserved. So it ended up the last day that we had to, to submit rosters. I just thought, I can make dwarves and spam lots of skills. So that's exactly what I did. Loads of guard. <laughs> Nine guard and a mighty blow troll slayer and a reserve runner. You know, So I think it's a good build though. You know, like Although it's kind of mindless spamming guard, it's obviously quite a min-max powerful thing to do. So I think it's a pretty decent uh, decent build. Now up against Ungern, who's the only Dark Elf, uh, he could be the only Dark Elf team, one of the very few Elves, I think he's the only Dark Elf. Um, and, you know, so he's actually got some dodge for my tackle to be of use. He's got a tackler which is wasted against me, he hasn't got a lot, I mean this is why I didn't go Dark Elves, they just don't get a lot, right? Three rerolls, Apo, and minimal positionals even, only one Witch, four Blitzers, it's like, it's rough, you just don't get a lot of skills for Dark Elves, which is why I went for... I thought about Dark Elves first, like last time. Uh, we've already had a Blitz Pit, which was while YouTube was down, so it wasn't up. Um, and I, you know, I went with loads of Blood Steppers there, but you just can't stack them onto the onto the uh, Dark Elves very effectively. So I think his team isn't very good, and I hopefully I should win that one. I believe Ungern's a very good coach, but I, I think it's a very good racial matchup. And I've got Elliot with Chaos and Luminous Light with Humans. So, here's Elliot's Chaos. See, Chaos get, get 120 more TV than Dwarves, which is quite a lot. You know, if I'd, if I'd thought about it, maybe that's pretty good. He's got loads of Block Guard. He's got um, Claw Mighty, Mighty Tackle, Dodge Two Heads, and a Sure Hands. I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? 12 players, 3 rerolls, Apo. It's durable. Loads of, you know, Strength, Guard, and it's got the Claw as well. Um, it's not a bad team at all. This is probably the best Chaos team in the tournament. Elliot's a great coach, but he does like to take a lot of time. So he might he might struggle with the, the time being a factor. Uh, Luminous Light here with humans. I, do, I honestly don't know Luminous Light, uh, but he must be good for <laughs> to be invited. He's got a block guard ogre, uh, some mighty blow tacklers, guard stand firms. I mean, humans get loads of skills, don't they? This is this is I'd probably I would I would have if I'd thought about it more. I, would have probably settled between Chaos, Necro, and uh, Humans. I think that you know they could really have spammed more guard. They could have had two more guards here, um, or a piling on, or guard, guard mighty blows, or just guard on catches. They could, you know, you get two doubles. Um, now he's gone for guard on the uh, lineman rather than guard on catches. I like guard on catches, just mobile, even though they're only strength two. But um, I think Humans are kind of tailor made for Chaos. And I know Elyod's an excellent coach, so I'd probably favour Elyod to win that game. And then he, he could well beat me with Chaos. <laughs> I'd back him to win, honestly, in that one, because he's got the strength and he's got Claw. And then it'll be him versus Dio on round two. I mean, I don't want to do the whole the whole predictions. We'll, we'll, we'll just do the predictions for day one, and then I could do another video. Before day two, maybe? Oh, I don't know. Uh, my, my, I'm going to pick Dio to win it all anyway, so let's just get that all the way right now. <laughs> right, Christopher's Nurgle versus Larkstar's Necro. Okay, so Christopher, again, C1420, it's it's as good as a Nurgle team can be, this. I I think it's built brilliantly. You know, block guard on all five guys, two claw mighties with two pestigos, a sure hands rotter, it gives you something, you know. It's built brilliantly. The bad thing is... It's Nurgle, you know, he's only got 11 players, and he's, but he's got a lot of blocking, he's got three re-rolls, but yeah, it's it's excellent skill picks, I think, really good skill picks. Um, this is probably the 
the best Nurgle team you could possibly make. Obviously, everybody knows Christopher, um, and he's, he's certainly going to be solid. Uh, Larkstar's Necro, wasn't it? I believe he's up against. Now, what I don't like about this, I don't like this build. He's got 30k left over. Um, now, to me, what I would have done is I would have dropped, I would have turned this ghoul into into a reroll, and that extra money and the wrestle I would have turned into a zombie. <laughs> and then with that extra 10k, you could have had the mighty blow. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't like that he's only got two rerolls. But obviously, he gets more power on the pitch by only having two rerolls. But then he's left 30k off with a fan factor cheerleader and assistant coach. Um, but you know, it's good. It's just the same as the other one. It's got more guard than uh, Dio. But he's, he, he's, he, you don't really need the tackle. The tackle's so narrow. It's only good if they've got dodge. And you've got two frenziers anyway. So I really think it was a mistake to go tackle. I think two mighty blow would have been far, far better. Um, and especially this this exemplifies it, doesn't it? This this match versus Christopher. Um, Christopher's got no dodge at all. He's got loads of loads of guard and <laughs> claw mighty blows. So he, he needed a mighty blow that game. Larkstar's uh, fan, does fantastically well with uh, goblins and halflings and stuff. Halflings particularly, very good coach. So you know, like every, everyone's good. There's no point saying everyone's good every game, but you know they're both good. Uh, I fancy that. Actually, I actually believe Christopher's team is better. Um, the only problem is he's only got eleven players. So although some have quite a few have regen, um, could be a problem with overtime format. Now we've got World Sitars Kemri versus Regal's Chaos. So World Sitar. He is a famous Russian coach. He's uh, very good. Mostly plays in rubble, I think. He's not so not not too heavy in the CCL, I don't think. Um, he's got a tackle. He's got a tackle. Uh, Tomb Guardian as a double, a block. I think he probably just should have gone block. But again, he's got kind of got the sweeper character, which I just don't think you need when you've got a block. Tackle Mighty Blow Blitzer, all right. Um, frenzy, two sure hand. Oh, the <laughs> throw is derp. A block, a dirty player, 12 men. I mean, he's only got two guard. He's got three Mighty Blow. Ah, I'm not I'm not enamored by this team, to tell you the truth. Um, right. He's against Regor's Chaos. Oh, I don't know who Regor is, to be honest. But again, he must be good. He's got a block claw minotaur, I like that. Loads of claw mighties. <laughs> and uh, some random things. He doesn't have any warriors though, but he's got 13 players. Uh, but his team, I don't think, is very good. It's going to be, you know, horribly outstrengthed. It, obviously, his minotaur might go off on one, but. And the claws might go off on one, but you would fancy the Kemri to uh, choke him out. It's a very tough matchup for Chaos at the best of times. Um, then we've got Tri versus Kemri. Try versus Kenry. Try with Kenry versus Shattered Ice versus Chaos. Versus. Why am I saying versus instead of with? <laughs> I'm stupid. Right, try. I believe he lost in the final last time. Now, I like this team more. He's got four guards, a couple of blocks, a couple of mighty blows, a piling on and a tackle. Um, leader, dirty player, 14 men, two rerolls. Um, he could have maybe gone 12 players and, a th and three rerolls. Uh, but I, I think it's fair enough for going 14 with overtime and a dirty player. But you know he's got region on everybody. Maybe he could have gone 12 players, but I guess he didn't want to. That's that's a that's a pretty good team. That's definitely more like what I would have wanted to build. And uh, well, I'm really bad at forgetting shattered ice chaos, isn't it? I'm really bad at remembering who's playing. <laughs> right, so we've got block guard, block guard, block guard, block mighty. I think you probably should just have block guard there. Tackle mighty, tackle claw, block your hands guard. Uh, now I think I quite like. I think this is probably. I think this could be my favourite chaos team actually. Um, three rerolls and an apple. Yeah, this is this is pretty nice. Apart from this should be in a guard. I think then it would be my favourite. <laughs> so maybe if I'd gone chaos, this is what I would have picked. Except for a guard there. Mighty blow tackle. It's not ideal, but you know if you if you come up against dark elves or something, you're going to re be really happy about him. You're only losing. Well, I guess he could have been claw against anybody else. Maybe you should have gone too claw. Maybe of course. Who knows? Um, honestly, that could go either way. I'm not. I, I, like again, I put tries the favourite because he's got fourteen players in regen, and Kemri are a horrible matchup for chaos. But on the other hand, you know, if the claw might blow does work, it's going to be very hard times for try. But yeah, I definitely pick try there. 
And then we've got Kith. It's hard to pronounce his name. <laughs> With Chaos versus Holy Boy's Humans. Holy Boy um, is a very good coach in Rebel, mostly. Um, he's got. You know, see, if Humans, I would have gone spam guard. I would have spammed the hell out of guard. He has not. He's only got four guard. He hasn't used a double for block. He hasn't used his doubles at all, has he? He's just gone more skill spams. I think it probably would have been worth it to uh, drop sidestep wrestle wrestle and have guard guard <laughs> personally i like more guard you could have even had guard mighty blow there and you could have had uh <laughs> you could have had seven guard on humans which is pretty disgusting isn't it um so yeah i mean it's it's good though you know mighty blow tackle guard it's not like the other th our choices are bad it's got loads of wrestle it's you know it's uh I'm just saying, putting my ideas forward. I'm not saying that my ideas are better than the other people's. They're just different, aren't they? Everyone's good in this tournament. Here's Kier Fool. Um, he's going to corp on Minotaur, which is incredible, isn't it? Um, loads of block guard, block show hands, wrestle tackle, claw mighty. I like wrestle tackle. Um, that's pretty decent, isn't it? Only two rerolls, though, and only 11 men, because obviously he's fitted all the positionals in. Um, it's going to be very dicey, this team, isn't it? He's gonna. He's probably gonna muller people, or, you know, really struggle. Now, obviously, Kefal is uh, ranked very highly. I believe he's still number one Dark Elves in in NAF. So you know, he's a really good coach. But you know, what? everyone here is really good. It's not like anyone's got that much of an advantage against anybody else in you know, in coaching skill wise. Um, so there you go. I probably I probably pick Kefal just because I, I just generally like chaos against uh, against humans. To be honest. Now, what I probably should have said at the start was, all of the games are being casted on Twitch. Um, they are being casted by, well, some of the people who are playing are streaming, like Kefu and myself. And then there's a massive commentary team. I'll, I'll put a link in the description for the uh, where you can find out who's casting which games on, um, to Reddit. And but there's people, there's BZL, Squirrel Dude, T-Self, Vulpies and Coulter, Sea Brawls, Gerion, Calcium, Yim BB and Haringzord. They're all casting the game, so every game will be covered uh, by impartial casters. And then I'll be casting my own games. Probably Crucifer will be casting his. And uh, Dio might be casting his. Kefu might be, you know, they might, they might be streaming their own games. There'll be lots of people streaming their own games. But every game will be casted by commentary teams. So I'll leave all the links to all their Twitches in the description. Leave the link to the uh, Rebel as well. So be sure to check everybody out. And uh, stay fantastic.